Are you ready to discover the meaning of the Judgment Tarot card? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly what this card means in any kind of reading, whether it's about love, career, finance, spirituality, or just a general reading. Plus, I'm going to show you how to interpret this card when it's upright, but also reverse. So that way you'll never get stuck on this card in a tarot reading again. So let's dive in. Now, the Judgment card represents an awakening, rebirth, an inner calling and resolution. The Judgment card shows naked men, women and children and they're rising from their graves. Their arms are outspread and they're looking up into the sky. And above, Archangel Gabriel, which is the messenger of God, blows his trumpet and the people respond to his call. They're ready to be judged and to find out if they'll be accepted into the heavens or not. Now in the background is an extensive mountain range and this signifies insurmountable obstacles and the impossibility of avoiding judgment. Now, the judgment card calls on you to rise up and embrace a higher level of consciousness in service of your highest good. And this is really a cosmic up leveling, a spiritual awakening where you realize that you are destined for so much more and you hear the call and you're ready to act. So prepare to tune into a higher frequency, let go of your older self and step into this new version of who you really are. Now the judgment card also often indicates that you're at a crossroads and that you need to make a life changing decision that requires a blend of intuition and intellect. Any choice that you make is going to bring about significant change with long lasting effects. So tune into your higher self, trust your judgment and know that you're on the right path. And if you still need clarity on the situation, look to your past and your life lessons to really guide you. Now, judgment also often appears in a tarot reading when you're reaching a significant stage in your journey. So all the pieces uh, making up the puzzle of your life are finally coming together to form a one unified picture of your life story. And this integration has healed those deep wounds and you're now able to put the past behind you with no sadness or regrets. And this purging process will leave you feeling refreshed and ready to take on new challenges. Now you might also find that there's comfort in sharing your struggles in a group environment because there are sure to be others who've had similar experiences and can show you the way to freedom from your troubles. So let them guide you and really help you rise together. So what does the judgment card mean when it comes to relationships and love? Well, if you're single, judgment can indicate a period of deep self-reflection on past relationships and what it is that you really want from love. Maybe there's something that you want to change in the way that you approach things. The key is how you transform that intent into action and make it your reality. Now, if you're in an established relationship, then the judgment card can suggest that you're in a make or break period. So you need to be really clear about your personal values and your goals and how those align with your relationships and your partner. Because now's the time for a really honest conversation with your partner to understand if you're both willing to take the relationship to the next level or not. Maybe you've got to make some tough decisions about what happens next. Now, on the other hand, you may decide that you want to wait for a divine sign that your relationship is meant to be and it will turn out as you hope. And when it comes to career work and finances, the judgment card suggests that you are feeling called to something new, something more aligned with your soul's purpose. So maybe you're considering a new career path that's actually very different to what you're doing right now, or perhaps you're drawn to a new way of earning income. Whatever it is, you have to be courageous in your decision making, choosing to follow both your heart and your good judgment. Now, the judgment card may also suggest that you have the desire to be amongst like minded people who are inspired and enthused by similar things to you. You may be particularly drawn to a community service or working for the greater good to create a positive impact and bring about change. Maybe you're even considering joining a volunteer role, working for a not for profit or following some kind of spiritual pursuit in your work. For you, your work is no longer about just making an income, but actually having a positive impact on your community. And if you do good work, then the abundance will follow. Now, in a financial reading, the judgment card indicates that it's likely that your debts will be wiped free or you're, you may finally pay off your last credit card and you'll be reveling in that freedom of having no debt. Now in a spiritual reading, judgment is a very positive card to see because it reflects a moment of spiritual awakening where your connection with your soul and the universe
universe becomes crystal clear and you know exactly what it is that you need to do to reach enlightenment. Now, at this time, you're actually very receptive to spiritual messages and you might want to share your experiences in a group context. So this could be a great time to join the spiritual community where you can rejoice in harmony with others. Now, what if you see the judgment card reversed in your tarot reading? Well, on one level, this card calls for a period of reflection and self-evaluation. Maybe you've made some past mistakes and you have regrets that you've kept hidden because you fear how others may judge you. Now, meditation or quiet contemplation can actually help you arrive at a deeper understanding of those universal themes weaving throughout your life and what you can do or change to avoid these situations going forward. Now, Judgment Reverse encourages you to also work on self-forgiveness, self-acceptance, self-love, release and freedom. It can also appear when the universe is trying to send you a message and is inviting you to something bigger, but you're just not listening. Maybe you're afraid of the sacrifice that you'll need to make to heed that call or you're worried you're just not ready to step into a more prominent role and you want to play it a bit safer. So you're doing your best to pretend like uh, you didn't receive it and you're just carrying on with your daily life, just hoping that it's going to go away. But let's be honest, because that call, it never goes away, does it? It just gets louder and louder until you pay attention. So getting the reverse judgment is saying it's time to push past your inner fears and your self-doubt and really trust the universe has got your back. This is happening for a reason. Now, sometimes the reverse judgment card indicates that your inner critic is coming through very loud and clear. So maybe you're doubting yourself or you're telling yourself negative messages, for example. Whatever way this is showing up, it is stopping you from fulfilling your highest potential and being your best self. So the best way to overcome your inner critic is to see it as a separate part of yourself. So give it a name, hear it out loud and acknowledge its fear and offer it reassurances that everything will be just fine. And know that with focused discipline, you can break free of that cycle of self-criticism and you can replace it with more positive messages of what's possible. Now, if you want to learn more about the tarot cards and what they all mean, I've got something really special for you. And the best news is it's absolutely free. It is my tarot card meanings reference guide. It's got all of the meanings of the cards in there. All you need to do is click on the link below and you can get instant access. And that way you will never go blank in a tarot reading again. And if you want to learn more about how to read tarot in a more modern, approachable way, there's so much for you to explore here over at Biddy Tarot because we have helped millions of people around the world every year to develop their tarot skills and their intuition. And of course, we'd love to help you do the same. So take the next step in your tarot journey by clicking below. Bye for now. Hey, if you love this video, then make sure you check out this next video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.